Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the WordPress series, we are going uh, to see how to work with pages, what are the URLs of, of our internal pages uh, of our uh, WordPress installation or our uh, website on our domain. In the previous video, I had seen a lot of work uh, about exporting and importing posts, and in today's video, we are going to see how to import and export pages and tune the internal links within these pages to match the new installations. Let me go to our uh, WordPress installation. If you remember, uh, we had uh, imported this one from a local website on our uh, domain. And which is installed locally on our machine, our local WordPress uh, installation, where we, uh, which is called Try, and it's called coming with the imported uh, user and it's coming with its categories as imported and we had imported uh, this page from another uh, project which having the Photoshop project we had imported from in the online uh, website or the online domain online WordPress installation and it came also with its uh, username and with its categories we had demonstrated this in the previous video uh, you can go back to it and it would help you a lot in handling your were uh, in in your post in today's we are going to delve more in pages by default WordPress installation is coming uh, uh, with the privacy policy which is not published it's internal you need to edit it to make your own privacy policy and then publish it and it's coming with the sample page which uh, is gi giving you a clue how to make uh, uh, your own page how to customize it so if you go to sample page URL you can copy for the page for this page to uh, send it to anyone or to post it on on your other on your blog or to uh, make promotion uh, for it. It's having some other uh, settings. Discussion page so it can, it's open for discussions. You can they can leave comments. Page attributes and from page attributes there are some uh, templates that's coming by default for from WordPress. Uh, and you can select any of them for your web page. We will learn how to make templates in coming videos. So now, if you visit our site, by default, our website is going to our blog page because that's the in, by in a, by installation by default for installation, and it's having one page. It's called the sample page. It's coming in the menu. That is, this mini is also generated by default from the WordPress installation 2020 theme. If you remember this first blog we had made it together in uh, in one video, I will link you the the link below for it, and I had made categories for uh, for it. Okay, now if you go to settings reading, we see where to set. Our home page, either it's a blog page or a static page. So it's a blog. The blog page is having our latest blogs and so on. So our latest posts. So whatever when you make a post, it will appear on your uh, default home page now. But if you change it to a static page, you need to have two pages: one page for your blogs and one page uh, for as a home page. And we are going to set now our blog page. So we're going to add a new page. We are simply calling, simply going to call it my blog, and we are going to select. I will leave it as a primary page, and I am going to select the cover uh, template for it. I will publish it. Okay, let me go now to the website to see how it looks. So it's coming to by default to my menu because the default menu from the WordPress adds adds the new pages, which I add. They add them directly to, uh, to this menu. You can adjust the setting in any menu you make. So it's coming with the with the cover uh, template, which is having this back, uh, red background as my blog, and it's empty. Now, now I go back to settings, reading.
and I select static page for my home page and I will select this sample page as my home page for now and I will select the blog page or the post page for, as my blog I update and then let me see our site now how does it look if I click here I will go to my home page which is my sample page so nothing will change from here and if I click on my blog now you will see that all the, the standard blog page which we are seeing as my ho our home page now it's coming under my blog page it's important to have a notice of the URL for this page which is wordpress.newcoder.online slash my blog because we will be seeing we'll, it will be important for us when we are making uh, the import and the export uh, of our default home page uh, from the our word uh, our photoshop project uh, installation okay now in our photoshop project installation we see our pages we have the blog page we have our home page this one is the one that we need to uh, import and export in our uh, new installation of the wordpress project and I'll select the published ones because this is the mainly one published on this site at the page, the other is a blog page which is a default one so it will not be used so I go where I need to import this one and I select importer I need to choose the file which I had downloaded from the other installation so I select the files which I downloaded from the other installation I'll download all the media and I'll give it a new user which is our default home page okay let me go now see our page now we see that it's imported the home, this home page is imported and you can see the also are coming as default home page now if we visit our site we will see that it is added by default to the menu any new page is, add, page is added to the menu and it's exactly as it looks on the other installation and my blog is taking me to my blog pages if I go back to my home page this image this puzzle is clickable it takes us to our blogs page so if I click on it now it's taking me to the Photoshop projects blog page which is an important note that you need to take care of the new the, the exported pages are exported with all the links as they are on the original websites even these are internal links of the original website it will not be modified when you import it on another installation so you need manually to go and modify this link we will go back again to our pages you can see here all this is on the new coder installation or the photoshop project installation so if you continue working and trying to edit and modify on, on this you will be modifying and editing on the new uh, coder or the photo, uh, photoshop project installation to go back to make sure that you are on the correct installation of the wordpress this is very important while you are working online make sure that you are on the correct installation if you are importing and exporting because any link can take you to the wrong site so now we are now on the correct installation it's wordpress.newcoder.online I will go to my dashboard, I will go to my home page, I will edit it and I need to edit the link. You can see that we used for linking and installing this uh, image on our web page, we used 
a code, a piece of code, standard HTML piece of code, and we didn't use uh, the default blocks of uh, WordPress. Sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes gives you more gives you more tools than the ones that are coming uh, with WordPress. Sometimes the blocks coming with WordPress are the best, but we are going to modify it here. The first part of the H this HTML code is uh, uh, reference uh, to, uh, to which this clickable image will go. So we are going to uh, to add it here to make here to make sure it is coming to our WordPress dot new coder dot online and my blog not blog because if we kept it blog it will give us 404 page not found and we don't like to have broken links on our installations okay now we have see our home page again if we click on it it will be taking us correctly to the blog page of the WordPress tutorial installation and not to the Photoshop project. Now to make this page as our home page we need to go again to settings, readings and when where we selected static page for our home page and from this selection I will select the home page not the sample page this time I will select the home page. And I need to save changes, don't forget to save changes because otherwise your updates will not be published and now if I go to my blog these are our blogs and if I go to my home page it's coming to our default home page okay if and the image are, are cl is clickable in, uh, to the correct address which is the WordPress my blog thank you very much for following so far I hope you had a lot of uh, information and you understand this trick correctly Take care that you need to adjust the URLs after exporting them from another site. Thank you very much for following so far.